Oh, yeah. Hey, here we hey, are. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this jam session with Michael Sam and Andy Jenkins. And Eben Pagan is going to be joining us in a mere seconds. Seconds. We're so excited. Sorry for the delay, everybody. Uh, we were just making sure that we could get the best quality possible to send to you. And so now we are going to reveal the best quality possible. Uh, Sassy, let us see the best quality possible from Eben Pagan. Evan, the art. Look at you. You look so good, man. Fatherhood suits you well. <laughs> I, I just want to say that uh, the lateness was largely my fault. I was scrambling around over here trying to get my computer plugged in, and I called these guys right on time, and we had some things to do, so I apologize for that. Uh, you know, we were totally prepared to blame technical difficulties on that one, man, so uh, yeah, that's, that's all good. That's all good. How are you? How's the launch going? Uh, the launch is going great. Uh, we had our... Uh, I think we had our best pre-launch that we've ever had. Um, launch is doing fantastic, awesome. and uh, I'm just, uh, you know, our our daughter's going to turn one year old on the 30th. Oh, baby girl, that's, that's awesome. my life. Fantastic! Congratulations! Yeah, congratulations. Um, so that's for good. those that have signed in to be with us and Evan today, I want to let you know that we've got um, some premiums that we're going to give away. These are one of a kind, single <laughs> edition. This is it. This is the stack that's left of the I Heart Evan Pagan t-shirts as seen in both Video Boss and Video Genesis. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left, and then they're gone. And they're only forever. available today here on I Heart Evan Pagan Radio. Radio. That's right. <laughs> that's, we thought we were going to be doing a radio show there for a second. Um, go ahead. Yeah, so, so uh, Evan, the launch is going good. The pre-launch went well. What do you attribute that to, to the content that you were teaching? What, uh, what was the content all about, and what, what's the big picture? What do, we, uh, what, what do you feel that people were missing in the marketplace that you're helping to, to accelerate? And, and, and by the way, just want to give you some props, Evan, for that 84-inch television that you showed in your pre-launch. <laughs> Trust us, it wasn't lost on us that you upped us by four inches on your boss vision. I'm not even going to go there. We will, we will be responding shortly with two. How do you like that? Damn. All right, oh, so, so let's let the learning begin. By the way, guys. just somebody please, please take a screen cap of your screen. Evan Pagan smiled for the first time I, What is ever. Something's wrong. It's ever. his daughter. Yeah, That's what it is. So yeah, so uh, your product, your uh, what? What are we? What are we helping marketers do better? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, you guys know that I, um, I try to give away as much value as possible, and that's just been a strategy that works really well for me. And so, when we do product launches, I go back to the drawing board and I say, starting right now, what's the most valuable stuff that I've ever learned about how to grow a business? And then I make some videos about it, and uh, and I give them away. And that's kind of the that's kind of the strategy, you know. We uh, in these videos that we've given away, we've taught some really great productivity stuff. Taught some of my favorite marketing concepts. Uh, you know, I shared with everyone an ad that I've used to hire some assistants uh, recently, and you know, just tried to give them the, the the best technology that we have that you can put to work in your business immediately. Well, that's so that's what works really well. Let's talk about that for just a second, because you know we you know, and this I realize that most people that are accustomed to signing into webinars are, you know, used to a different format. And this, I like this format a little bit better because we can get, we can get, be very candid about what we're talking about. So, Evan, there's a reason why you chose the topics in your pre-launch videos that you chose. And if I can be so bold as to say, as somebody that does a lot of launches, you know, I try to choose the stuff that's going to have the most profound effect in the shortest amount of time and make it sort of a game changer, right? Like the topic is going to be game changing for them if they would just implement it. So yep. let me just ask, in your pre-launch videos, why did you choose those topics? What, what in your universe made you feel good about making that, you know, you could pick anything. Why, sure. why that stuff? Yeah. Well, uh, for example, in our first video, right, um, we critiqued 37 different websites that people submitted to me. And uh, there was very up-to-date. It was a couple of weeks before I made the video. You know, I emailed our list. I said, show me your website, and uh, we'll critique it. I picked uh, 37 of them. I made a video with me just going bang, bang, bang through it because there were, there were a few simple things that most people don't get about having a website that if they would just understand these things when they're, uh, when they're making their website, it would be a simple thing. But everybody's worried about the colors and their logo and mm -hmm. does their face look just right, but they're missing, you know, they're missing the bigger picture. Uh, so we went there and I just, 
And by the time you're done watching it, you get it. You know, you, uh, Evan, you, you can't watch it, 37 of them without getting it. You Go broke ahead. it down to three things. I remember it, you basically said, I'm going to show you some of my websites. And yep. these things are going to look very, very simple. And you may think, like, hey, this is simple. Who doesn't get it? And then you went yep. to these websites, and you were asking questions like, what is it? What does it do for me? And, yep. and when you were getting to these websites, you were seeing that people that were putting a headline, which was the name of their company. The screenshot of the video was the name of their company. And they had a graphic that the name was the name of their company. You were like, what is it? I don't even know by the name of your company. What does it do? And I forget the third question. And, like, yeah. you were like, and at some point, you were like, what do I do? I'm I really leave, <laughs> you know, because there was, there was, you couldn't tell at the website, even, even if you wanted to, you couldn't even figure out what these companies were about. Yeah, well, so, you know, I've got this, guys, because, uh, you know, I've done this a lot in my programs where I take a bunch of submissions and we put them up on the screen. And uh, so here are the three questions, right? So the first, th first question is, what is it? And the second is, what is it about? Mm -hmm. And the second is, what do I, or the third is, what do I get? Mm -hmm. And that's all the customer cares about. What is it? so that they can see that they're in the right place. What is it about? Because they want it to be about them. And then what do I get? Because they want to get something. And I don't know, I'm making this up, but maybe 40 or 50% of the websites I look at, I don't even know what they are or what they're doing on that website when I look at them. I don't think that that is an is a incorrect yeah. estimation of percentages. I mean, we, Mike and I, at, at, we did our hot seat at a live event and we brought people up systematically and you know we would say at the beginning we love you despite what we're about to say about <laughs> your you know your lifeblood your white your website and and systematically proceeded to say you know what the f is this thing on almost all of them yeah, yeah because i uh, so evan i think you said in in the videos uh, you know not looking to hurt your ego but this is not about you when people come to your website, they don't want to see you leaning on the side of the website with a, with a cup of coffee and it's all about your, your branding. You have to position it from the point of view for, uh, from the customer. They want to know, as you said, uh, what is it about, um, what do, uh, what's in it for me. If you Repeat those again because I think everybody should take notes if, I, if I'm not even drilled in on yeah, yeah. it. What yeah. is it? Yeah, what is it? What is it about? What's it about and what do I get? And what do I get? What do I get? What do I what get? Do I get? Yeah, I, I, I actually like yeah. that more than what's in it for me, mm -hmm. right? What's in it for me is a little bit abstract. What do I get? And, and again, I know that people might be saying, well, this is pretty base. Um, well, if it's so base, how come half the websites out there can't rise to this level? So is this sort of like your internal checklist of things that you think about before you start to author a website? Oh, yeah. I mean, using some of the exercises that we've you know, even done in some of these videos and things, I try to get it down to the word. You know, what is the key word that you want to use? And, you know, like I taught a lot of dating advice for years, guys. You know this. And I learned that if you put a headline up on a website or on a pay-per-click ad or on an email that says something like relationships, you know, or self-esteem or feeling good about yourself, you know, or communication skills, uh, the average single guy who's, you know, socially awkward and frustrated, he does tons. You know, there's a hundred other emails in his inbox and, you know, 50 text messages. It's just not happening. What he wants is something that he feels like he can take away and go use right now, especially if he doesn't know me, if he's never met me before, and i got to build some credibility. And so sometimes people look at our marketing and they'll see, you know, a pay-per-click ad that says pickup lines, you know, or they'll come to our website and it'll say, you know, whatever, the nine-word question you can ask someone that can start a conversation that guarantees that you won't get rejected. Or some of these emotional hot-button issues and they say, oh, this doesn't, you know, this probably isn't that this sophisticated. Turns out our training is very sophisticated. But, you know, if, if you're going, you know, you don't put a piece of pizza and a beer on the fish hook. You know, you put a worm on the fish hook because you're fishing, you know. And uh, marketing in a lot of ways is kind of like that. You need to grab the attention of your, of your customer. Now, we don't want to be violent with them. Turns out I'm actually a vegetarian, and I haven't been fishing in a long time. <laughs> but, uh, it's a little, you know, a little psychological metaphor. Oops. Sorry, you finished and, talking. And we're off. Right yeah, back. right. No, we thought we were just back interactions. You, guys. You, you can hear us okay, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, you know, I, I want to just talk about um, what I think is still probably the best engineered squeeze page of all time, which is was your quintessential, you know, kiss test squeeze page. 
Yeah. Um, because I think that this really represents a lot of the strategic thinking that you do, you know, yeah. with your um, with your customers, with your with your content. Squeeze page um, just does everything perfectly, and and when I teach people about trying to get people to take action, I always hold this up and say, "This is awesome," and here's why. So you know, just just well, you know, we can take five minutes about it and then and move sure. on to another topic. But the I think the most interesting thing about the simplicity, right? And let's just talk about simplicity for a second. You had a squeeze page that basically asked the question, how do you know if the woman that you are with is ready to be kissed? It's the kiss test, right? And that seems very simple, uh, you know, very simple at first, but it's really very sophisticated. So, uh, and, and, and let me ask your opinion on this, Evan. Do you think that people nowadays are driven by the avoidance of pain or the pursuit of pleasure? Or, like you've proven, if you do both, should you do both? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. A lot of a lot of kind of loops there. Um, well, that's how you we have work. to figure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, you you got to get a valuable answer, right? So, um, most people, when they're really starting to get sophisticated about marketing, they say, "Well, what words do I put in the headline? Or what's the formula? Or what do I have to do?" And uh, again, it's more about understanding exactly where the customer is at. So you mentioned the kiss test, mm -hmm. right? The kiss test, how to tell if a woman's ready to be kissed. Now, this, this took me a while to figure out. It sounds like it might be pretty simple. And I'll tell you what, Andy, I, for, you know, 13 years now, I have had guys come up to me and say, thank you so much for the kiss test. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guy in, you know, a friend, And he was like, the, t the kiss test, thank you so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're not that guy, this doesn't make any sense to you right now. You're going, what are you talking about? You know? But if you are that guy, you're probably for my website right now. And you're probably taking a little break and going, there's a test. Yes. You can do a test to see if a woman's ready to Huh? <laughs> Wdating.com, by the way. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I'll tell you guys, um, in, uh, in our first video that we just you know, did in our pre-launch here, um, I included what I consider to be possibly the two most powerful marketing sentences that have ever been written, right? You got my and, curiosity. Uh, say again? You got my curiosity. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of them um, is, uh, is a great one, right? So the Aerogel company that makes, you know, this fluffy little, you know, essentially featherweight gel, they, they made a pair of socks and then they put them on a mountain climber who climbed Mount Everest wearing their aerogel socks, right? And then when they, when the climber came back down, the um, the press interviewed them and said, "How did it go?" And they said, "Good. You know, the climb was good. The only problem is that my feet got too hot." Right? Now, to the average person, you might say, "Well, that sounds stupid." <laughs> but I'll tell you what: if you're a person who gets cold feet, right, or someone that has poor circulation, when you hear that, you, there's no salesmanship required. Right. You just say, that is the, the, those are the socks that I need. You right. Know, there's, there's no bullet that, points to be made. Yeah. There's no call to action. It's where do I get that? Yeah, yeah exactly. That, that's the socks that I need. And, uh, and the other one, of course, um, you know, I taught dating advice for a long time, so I'm, I have permission to say this, is uh, Viagra's ad, right? You know, Blah 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 blah. It's you know all this nice stuff, and then the voice comes on. You know, if you get an erection that lasts for more than four hours, you know, see your doctor immediately. Which is like, dude, I know that they wrote, they put that in there on purpose. <laughs> so good. That's all it's they had so to do was put Viagra. If your erection lasts for more than four hours, call a doctor. <laughs> it, it, it's it's, uh, it's it's this hidden benefit. Like if you if you were dating, if uh, you know, if like you're talking, let's say you have like this. Uh, this body spray or something like that. And it's like, you know, if if uh, if too many girls are approaching you at the club, yes. try using less spray. Yes. <laughs> Call the police. <laughs> exactly. I, guys, I, I was doing this on a, a webinar, like, I don't know, it was last week or something. And there was a guy, a doctor, who, like, types into the box. He's like, I'm a doctor. I'm, you know, I'm a physician. And this is actually a serious problem. And it can lead to, you know, whatever. I was like, yeah. 
oh my god, this is this is worse than I thought it was, you know? <laughs> now, of course, if you get an erection that lasts more than four hours, go see the doctor, you know? Of course you want to do that, but I'm just trying to say that, you know, if you're a guy who maybe it's been years since yeah, you've yeah. been able to, you know, and you hear that commercial, you're going to be using a... You, you're probably going to be very creative about getting your hands on one of those prescriptions as fast as you possibly yes. can. And let's say that money is not going to be an object at that point. Well, you know? well and, and it's, the, it's sort of the objection that the funny thing about objections is, you know, when you're in the sales business, they say, ah, it's out of my budget. And it's really interesting to see once you hit somebody's needs, wants, desires, and re pain removal perfectly, budget ends. It's not, it's not an issue anymore. You know, yep. we've seen, uh, you know, I live, I live currently on a street that's right next to public access to the beach. And I see routinely every day, it's where people come, they park their car, they get in their wetsuits, and they go surfing. And these old beat up jalopy, I mean, like, you know, hel rust held together with duct tapes, roll up in front of my house. And, you know, I, I got into surfing a little while. These people pull out you know, $2,000 custom surfboards, and they walk down the beach to the beach in $600 three mil web suits, wetsuits with reinforced this, that, and the other thing. You know what I mean? So that's the car that they're driving, but they're rolling out in that surfboard that they probably have no business affording. So yeah, I, I just, so coming kind of back to your website, the thing that I thought was awesome about how to know if she's ready to be kissed is that you did something that uh, I see very few people do on their website. Forget about, you know, the, those three questions. What is it, you know, what is in it for me and how, what do I get? Um, what you, is it? What is it about? What is what it about? Do what do I get? You, you basically said, how do I know if she's ready to be kissed? So first of all, that's a real benefit if you know. But also, I think the thing a lot of people don't realize on the surface, but it, it sucks them in subconsciously, is if you try to kiss a girl and she's not ready and you get the Heisman, that is a painful experience. So at the same time, you were able to say, I'm going to get rid of your pain, mm -hmm. the potential of Heisman, and also you're going to know when she's, you know, when you've done your job. And I mean, you know, I'm sure that you probably have lots of statistics, but but when you get to a place where you can give them both pain and pleasure, or I'm sorry, remove pain and give them pleasure, you know, on the front page of your website, you win. You have to win, right? Yeah. Um, one of the things that sometimes I teach when I'm teaching marketing is alienate your non-prospect. Mm, that's I love that idea. Mike and I have a different word for it. It's called go, go where you're celebrated, not just tolerated. So. I think we're saying the same thing, but approaching it differently. So, so expand on that, Evan. Well, so what most people are trying to do when they're creating marketing is they're trying to, you know, say something they think other people respond positive. Fortunately, what we do is we we tend to imagine everyone that might be getting the message. And you know, Gary Halbert, right? He said, "Don't worry about the dogs, right? Just sell to the foxes." Mm -hmm. And when you when you go as far as to say alienate your non-prospect. You, you get permission to really talk to these issues. Mm -hmm. You know, really, if you, uh, you know, it, the dating stuff is such a great example because everyone can relate to it in some way or not relate to it, which sometimes is helpful. If you, like, look at my original uh, letter, which you can still see online for my W Dating book, right, it starts out with me saying, I was at a nightclub recently and I walked up to an attractive woman and I started talking to her and went away with her phone. Now, you know, to most people, they would read that and just go, "This is just not." I, I like I'm I'm complete. But if you were a insecure, socially awkward man and you read that, sound just said, "I woke up yesterday and uh, I had wings and I flew up and I you know flew around for a while." You you just said something there that's like the laws of physics. Evan, Evan, we're going to ask you to repeat that. We're, uh, we, we, we're getting a little loss of data from you. You're cutting in and out a little bit, and the sentences was a little underwater. So yeah, no, no problem. Go no back problem. about 30 seconds. We're going to try that again for everybody. Sorry about that. No worries. The, in 
the interwebs are sometimes, you know, t- t- it little, does, shouldn't somebody fix that? Yeah, they're a little clogged to today, it that. seems like. <laughs> All right, so I'll say it one more time. Um, if you come where we sell our W dating, and I mean, you know, this is a letter what, 12 or 13 years ago or something. Still works great to this day. It starts out with me saying, All right, can you hear me, guys? Yes, this, yeah, this yep. about okay, 90%, good. so we're, uh, we're pretty good. Okay, good. And so uh, it says, you know, I was at a nightclub recently, and I saw an attractive woman, and I walked over to her, and I started talking to her, and a few minutes later, I walked away with her phone number. Right. All right? Yes, which is, so, which is like the pure sound of a silver bell ringing for some people. Yeah, and that, and that, well, impli- so, you know, that implies that now I have a chance. I can, I can take it from here to the next step. Yeah. But, but Well, okay. it, also, it also says, guys, to, to my non-prospect, it also says, don't read this. If you are not my customer, this is not going to be interesting to you. And this is only going to be interesting to the guy who's interested in stuff. You want to alienate your non-prospect. To the right. guy who this makes sense to, it just sounds like I performed a miracle. It totally grabs his attention. But to everyone else, right, it's not interesting. If you're, if you're a... You know, if you're a guy that's already got a woman or you're a woman, you're going to just read that and go, oh, for me, I'm on to the next thing. So yeah. I just want to give you permission to alienate your non-prospect. You don't want to say, you know, get away from me, you know, but feel free to alienate them by only talking to the people who are going to pay you and give you money for your products and services. And at the end of the day, that lets you focus your message with your base. far more accuracy than it would yeah. be if you're trying to get everybody to sign up. I mean, at, listen, if you close 10% on your website, you're a hero, and you're doing very, very, very well. That yeah. still means that 90 people are flipping you the bird, right? And so the more, and what we find is the more of those 90 people that are running away from you, you try to lure back in by being broader and general and more open and less specific, mm-hmm. What happens is more people end up leaving. Now 95 out of 100 are leaving. Where yeah. the best best marketing we've ever done has been marketing that has been almost specific to the point of, you know, of saying, if you're using this piece of software on this hardware and you're having problems doing this function, why don't you take a look at this option? I mean, it's really finding people in the circumstance that they're at. Yeah, many, many different spokes in your marketing can lead to the same product if you focus one advertising campaign on the people that are having this problem, yep. this problem. The, I the, totally agree. You're looking at aspirin. can be used for headaches. It can be used for fever. You know, all these different things that, you know. I mean, Evan, in your programs, you spend a lot of time helping people achieve that clarity and that focus and guiding them to that message. Is that right? Yeah. Um, you know, not to be too pitchy or whatever, but, uh, you know, this year we're going to do a three-day marketing summit, and that's going to be the whole thing. You know, sometimes we do courses on business. Sometimes we train people how to do information products and things. This particular one is just a series of exercises and lessons where we're putting together the bigger picture of what we think our customers want and then boiling it down and boiling it down and boiling it down until we have the specific words and phrases that grab people's attention. And that's what you're after. If you can find those specific words and phrases, you've found gold. So, Evan, uh, Andy and I are really looking into... Uh, this thing when we look into our marketing and we realize that uh, when you're at 2% and you move up to 3.7% or 4% or 5% on a, on a web page, that yeah. we go around and we high five. And everybody's asking how you did. And what we have to realize is that along this marketing point, we've lost 95% of the people that either saw a subject line, they're, at some point in our marketing, they're bouncing out. And we started looking at this thing about these micro commitments all the way along that lead to the macro commitment, which, which is, is the add to cart. Is, yeah, and yeah, and hitting that submit when the yep. credit card's in there. So if you look at when we're using the, the dating analogy, that if you were to find somebody that's happily married with four kids, well, that that's the ultimate macro commitment. Let's go all the way back to that initial micro commitment when they first met. If he came on a little bit too strong and said, Hey, you're a nice person. You look like exactly like the person I'd like to marry and have four kids. Well, we know that you know we went on too strong, and then if it was a movie, that whole everything in that person's life would dissolve, right? And if it was like a Groundhog Day, like going back, Groundhog Day was about micro commitments and a point of failure, yeah. right? So, Evan, if you've got the best tested order page, the best video sales letter, you've got the 
the best sales copy, uh, the best email copy, but the subject line you didn't put any thought in, well, that's the first micro-commitment um, that's in there. And then nothing, else, everything else, again, if it's the movie, everything dissolves. They never see the video sales letter because they never read the email. So we have to look at everything. Everything that you're talking about is, uh, what is it about? Um, uh, what I'm going to get it. What is, what is it about? What does it do? What do I get? Yeah. Right. So we we have to make sure that we're addressing that all the way through, and we're pulling them through the process. Uh, every single point in our process, from our email, our landing page, the video in our landing page, the next page. All these things are these micro commitments to get people to this macro commitment. And any time we mess up, mess up, and go too strong, that's that's the bounce rates that's creating this 95% failure rate. What, what, what do you think about that uh, in, in terms of the stuff that, um, that you're teaching as well? Yeah, you know, there's another, another level to go here and talk about, guys, uh, which is it's really important to have great products. You know, it's important to have something that you can be really proud of that you know is the best work that you can do. Um, every couple few years, I go through like a Steve Jobs geek out phase where I get <laughs> really into him, and I'm kind of currently in one right now. Um, you know, his book is great and just some documentaries and things. And he refers to this uh, idea that he calls the spirit of enlightenment, right? And some products have it and some don't. And Apple products definitely have it. You know, when you pick up an Apple computer or an iPhone or whatever, you just go, this thing was made by cool people that cared about making something awesome. Like you just, it's just is great. You know, I've got my Mac laptop here that we're talking on and it's just a simple, beautiful piece of equipment. Now, once you have that, then you can go and do like the product launch pitches that Steve would give that some people would make fun of because he would always be saying, look at this amazing screen and look it's at how beautiful magical. that is. It's Unbelievable. Insane. And look at that. Yes. And, you know, for most people, it would feel fake and, you know, trite and just kind of lame. But it actually was like when, you know, you could believe Steve because what they had was amazing. So Dude, we're this, is, about this is a profound point. You're making a profound point. You are changing people's lives with this point because this is something that, that people approach us all the time and they say, you know, I, I, I kind of own a Mac or, or I'm not on the fence or I see you guys have Macs and PCs and when I just don't get it and I'm not understanding it. And, and then just about when I think it's time for me to buy a Mac, I hear it's magical or, you know, the... I forget his name, but uh, if you remember the tease for the uh, the new Mac Pro, the little the thing that people calling the I can, and mm -hmm. at the end of it, you know, you've got this little thing that's this big, and he walks out on the stage and he says, "Can't innovate my ass," mm -hmm. and basically you've got something that is literally the size of like what the the coffee that I'll drink today, and it will run a TV studio, and and so at the end of the day, you you hear these things, it's magical, and and Mike and I have borrowed it from it before, like our pivots to our product, we'll say, and that's Webinar Jam. I mean, that's borrowed right from Steve Jobs. The, I guess the point that you're making is that, that what some people perceive as cheese is ambrosia for the people that are the, already converted. Yeah, and uh, it, also, it also means that it's important, you know, I had a mentor that used to say, and I'm not a sports guy, but he would say that, you know, if you're the quarterback of a football team and you got to throw the long bomb, you got to throw that long pass, you have to have the confidence that, you know, your guy that's going to catch the ball is good. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to know that you're on a team with somebody that can play at the same level that you can. And uh, in a certain sense, the marketing is the, the kind of throw and your product that you're delivering is the, you know, the other person and the, and the catch. And... What you've got to do is you've got to spend time with your customers. You've got to spend some time talking to them, interacting with them, learning about who they are, asking them questions. I'm, uh, I'm in this process right now. I don't think I told you two guys about this, but um, I'm building a new mastermind right now. And uh, I asked myself several months ago, I said, okay, I'm just going to make the best thing. How do I make the best thing? Mm -hmm. And actually, some of my answers I didn't like that much when I answered them. <laughs> And one of the answers was, well, if you're going to make the best thing, you have to talk to everyone that you're going to invite. Right. How do you not overcommit your precious time? Right. That was probably well, the worst answer that you came up with, which is you're well, going to be I, on the phone five hours a day with your, your mastermind people, right? 
I, I had an even worse answer, which was I got to talk to every one of them after every event too. <laughs> right? But right, one and on so, one. Exactly. So so I made the commitment to do it, and you know what, guys? If I was you know I was kind of dreading it. It's actually been some of the most fun work that I've done. Uh, I would set aside one day a week, and I would I set up these 15 minute calls to talk to people who I wanted to invite. We did the first one. It was unbelievable. And then over the last few weeks, um, I set up more days, and I've now it's about oh I don't know three three four weeks since we've done it, and I've now talked to almost every one of the 108 people that came to the program, and I've downloaded what they had to say, and I've gotten their feedback, and. Um, I, I haven't been as excited about a new business project in a long, long time, and part of it is because I know that at the rate that I am learning and innovating and making the product great, that it's going to really be great for people. They're really going to enjoy it, and it's going to keep getting better. And so bottom line is make your product good and talk to your customers. This way, when you're learning these marketing techniques and you take a you know a headline formula that you get from Mike or Andy or you learn one from us or you go through one of these processes that we're talking about to identify the you know specific hot button needs in your customer and then boil them down to words and phrases and then put them into follow up sequences when you get all this stuff you can feel good about it and you can feel confident about it not like you're just trying to trick someone into giving you money cuz that doesn't feel too good so I was just going to say, what advice can you give to somebody who knows that their product is great? And, and I'll tell you, Mike and I have, you know, we made this a part of the Video Genesis launch back in the day because we know this pain is out there and it shouldn't be, which was we know you're passionate about your product. We know your product is probably a lot better than your marketing says it is because, you know, you put your heart and soul into this and you're really, there's really no risk when you make your product. You know what I mean? Because you're, yeah. you're, you're dumping your brain into it, you know, your expertise, your skills. You know what you're doing when you're making your product. And then you get out there and you got to write a headline or you got to do a landing page or a sales video or write an email follow-up sequence. And that's where you go, <laughs> And so what, you know, in your experience, what are some of the things that make people feel better about bragging, rightfully bragging about themselves? Uh, you know, honestly, in my experience, it's seeing that it works. And, it, you know, again, I, I don't think it's about seeing, seeing things that really grab the attention of your customer. I don't know that you have to go to bragging, although you have to do some. I mean, yeah. I've worked, for example, go ahead. So what, when I say bragging, I, I probably should have clarified by saying some people will say things like, and hey, you know, our product is uh, pretty good and it could yeah. help you. And, um, you know, but don't worry if it fails, and sometimes it does, you can get your money back. <laughs> yeah, like, so, so what we did with our last product, uh, Webinar Jam, not a pitch for it, obviously, is we, we moved a headline up to the top of the page that tested very well, and it said, there's a reason, it might, may not be the exact verbiage, because we're testing different yeah. verbiage, but it, uh, it, was, it was, there's a reason why 9,876 people switched from GoToWebinar to Webinar Jam last month. And that's that's a way of, that's bragging that, for that, us as far bragging, as we're concerned. But it, it's yeah. it's also it's a way of saying here here's why you should listen to us. You know, so we always say when we get on stage, we don't necessarily say, but we want to imply here's who I am and why you should listen to me. It's it sets up this authority and credibility through through specific points of reason. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, to 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 go deeper into that, um, I've had a lot of people that are. Um, holistic practitioners, coaches, nutritionists, a lot of these types go through uh, one set of courses I do on creating information products and, and what have you. And uh, a lot of times they have trouble doing the things we're talking about, you know, really talking about like how great they are or really getting in touch with the needs of the customer or really, you know, summarizing a strong pain or benefit point and then putting it in advertisement. And uh, I found that Things like pay-per-click advertising and videos and other things um, can be really valuable for this as far as training because once you see what people respond to, once you see what people click on more, what they respond to, you realize like, oh, that's actually what they need. That's actually what they need to see and you get out of your own like ideas and your own head and you, you actually become more unselfish about the whole thing. You become more unselfish about it. And uh, you, you know, you help the other person with what. So go out and test it. Try it. Um, I've known people who have used pay-per-click advertising 
not even to get clients or to get leads or get customer, but just to test their ideas out. And uh, I think that's one of the best uses of it is you spend some money and you just see which words people click on and then you take that and you use it in other parts of your marketing, right? So going and seeing that it works is one of the best ways to kind of see that talking about your benefits and talking about yourself and, you know, in, in a way that builds credibility. I mean, you don't want to just talk about yourself, but using, I guess I would say using some of these high powered persuasion techniques ethically um, that's where you see it and you have the aha, like, oh, okay, that's what I need to do. So, so much. I mean, I just, one real quick story. My first information product online was a book. It was an ebook called Yahoo Store Profits. And this is a 2001 ish. Mm -hmm. And I sent it to a guy who was a big deal in the marketplace who ran a drop ship source directory, which would have, you know, turned out to be an awesome, his name's Chris Malta, awesome. JV partner, and he sent back an email after he read it and said, this is fantastic. And I didn't know, you know, what to do with it, the book otherwise. I knew it worked because for the last two years I was doing about a million dollars in business in e-commerce selling swords and armor, right? And so I made a headline and then did some advertising back on Overture, mm -hmm. right? For you guys that don't know Overture, I'm not even sure. I think Yahoo is for click. Right. Yeah. Um, that said, this is fantastic in quotes. And that turned out to be one of my highest converting creatives. So, so to Eben's point, you really just need to get out there and test it around. And, and so, you know, give it to people. Let them give you feedback. And, and if, if you know what it is and you want to improve, give it to some more people and let get some more feedback because you just never know how it's going to impact the marketplace until it gets out there and impacts the marketplace. So we want to talk you about sold a you for a million second. dollars worth of swords in 2000. Lord of the Rings. I was not. number one for Lo the search phrase in Google, Lord of the Rings swords, during the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy while I was in the theaters. I mean, you know, there's a lot of it's a lot of geeks out there, in that dude. Geek Look, World I, of Warcraft, I knew you were successful uh, selling all that stuff, but I didn't you know, know you were selling goals. a million. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I mean, so this was this was also back in the day. Yeah, I'm not going to make any excuses for it. It was awesome. It was awesome. I mean, <laughs> nowhere near, nowhere near as much margin, right? So in that day, there was something called MAP, minimum advertised price, and we probably were turning about 20% profit on those things. But still, you know, you're talking about a geek selling things to other geeks. And when you're number, and when for you money, learn, and when you learn to be <laughs> yeah, number one in yeah. that industry, you're you're getting yeah, it all. That's right. So I mean, we're gonna we're gonna flip the cl classroom over and uh, make you a student of your own training. We're going to ask you the questions about, about your program. So what is it, what does it do, and what do the people get when they, when they get your program? Oh, that's right. You see what we did just there? That's good. Uh, well, you know, it is what it says. It's, a, it's an accelerate high growth business training. It's a training to shift your business into high growth mode. Um, reality is, as you're growing a business, if your business isn't growing, it's not as fun. It's harder. It's, you know, and we all go through phases of it, but Man, if you can have your business in high growth mode, it is a lot more interesting. Not to mention, you know, you can make a lot more money that way and make your business a lot more valuable. So, so that's what it is. It's a high growth business training. Uh, we did our first one last year, and this is after six or seven years of teaching over 10,000 entrepreneurs and business owners in my live programs, you know, hundreds of thousands, you know, over a million actually through, through other means. I did my first uh, one last year. It was up to $12,000 a ticket to attend. We did a week-long summit. We had entrepreneurs flying from all over the world. Uh, over 100 of our course was over a million dollars a year. So in other words, very, very high-powered uh, entrepreneur. And uh, we the most important aspect of building And we had a lot of success. So this of that program. So uh, all the videos from the Accelerate Summit from last year, teaching all aspects of growing a business. Uh, I'm also doing a three-day marketing summit. It's a strategic marketing summit in August. The only live marketing uh, business training that I'm going to do this year, so it's the only way to get access to me. We're going to have some just some brilliant uh, geniuses on social media and video and some of the new ways of doing marketing that are going to be speaking there. Plus, we're going to go through all these exercises that we've been talking about identifying the emotional hot buttons of your customers, finding the exact words, putting them together in headline and copy formulas. It's going to be a really powerful course. Um, and then also we've got a 10-week training actually starts in a week, um, which Can is 10 weeks. Can you repeat that, Evan? Of, uh, a 10-week? Yep. 
Yeah, it's a 10-week implementation course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 10 weeks of implementation. Uh, I'm going to be teaching live starting next week uh, 10 different systems into your life and into your business to help increase your growth. Um, one of the interesting things about the, uh, the elements that we put into your business is that they don't just grow your business a little bit, but they actually multiply each other, right? So you guys know, you know, if I figure out a way to get twice as much traffic to my website, right, I can double my business. If I figure out how to get twice as many people to opt in when they land on my landing page, I can double my business. Well, if I do both, right, if I get twice as many people to come to the site and twice as many people to opt in, I don't double my business. It's two times two. It's four times. And if I can get twice as many people to convert into customers with a follow-up sequence, well, that's now four times two, which is eight, eight. right? And so, so if you can, yeah, if you can, if you can install all these different systems in your business, you can go two x four, eight, sixteen, and it's only when you start doing ten, a hundred, and even a thousand times that you get that, you know, really super high growth that we all want to achieve, and that's what we're focused on in this program. So it's all about accelerating your, accelerating your growth. Awesome. So, and we have a we have a bonus for our for our people, and we're gonna I just. So besides the last ten iHeart Evan Pagan shirts, <laughs> I thought you said there were only seven. Well, but I I recognize that there was three taped to the front yeah. of Black, our Black yeah, shot of the oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. We taped oh, some wow. to the front there. Plus, what I'm willing to do is take the very one. one off my back, the shirt off my back. That means eleven. That's this many. Eleven iHeart. Evan T-shirts. What's a picture of Andy taking taking it off and sending it to you? So that's the, the first thing. Shot. We can't even put a price on that. that so that's re that's real for the first eleven people. That's that real for the first eleven people. And when we say first eleven people, not twelve, not thirteen. Shirts aren't there. eleven people. It's just right. We just can't can't fulfill on that. And we don't want to be responsible for not fulfilling on something we promised. So stick around because we've got three bonuses. That's right. The third is one I just text to, uh, typed to Andy here to let him see, and he went. So uh, we just added this. It's not even part of our prior bonus. Not even public. You're the first to hear about so, it. So the first thing is uh, we're going to uh, give away one-year access to Genesis Labs, and that's basically Andy and I giving about 90 minutes of content every single month about what's working in our business. It's with our, literally we take with our split test, what we've just learned. Here's a campaign. Business. Here's what it did. This here's what, what failed. Worked. This is what was exactly. great. Yeah. And, and so um, why is that important for you? Uh, Mike and I are an eight-figure business, and um, we would like to share the things that help us make an eight-figure business with you. And uh, it's it's good information. It's very behind the scenes. It's not not a lot of throat clearing. And <laughs> no, and, and it, it goes from the minor tactical to the big stuff. But like the minor stuff, Evan, like we we tested things on our opt-in forms. That's like what works better. Um, we will never spam you, or uh, we respect your privacy. We will never share your information yeah, to the third party. Right. So it's that kind of stuff that makes a 10% difference. You know, again, These maybe you can't double it, about, right? but 10% here, 10% here, 10% here, and that's Genesis Labs. Right. And the what next, else? The next one is we're we're uh, giving the next thing is our mastermind. We have a we have a mastermind, uh, Evan, formatted very similar to the mastermind that you, Andy, and I are in. Uh, we set up a. a an email list with all the members. You post a question to like-minded people, and with four hours, you're getting a great discussion on, hey, what do you think about this landing page? What do you think about my video? Is anybody, what, what are you guys using for split testing? You know it. All things marketing is the only thing that we're allowed to talk, and we actually don't allow any discussions that don't have to do with marketing, so there's no pics of your, your dogs and your kittens and all that stuff. Uh, and I really think that's invaluable because the amount of information we see going on in a peer group, uh, you know, we have over 250 people in there, so you get quick access to any question that you have in marketing uh, about the use of a product. Can really help you tactic. break through walls yeah. with your business, mm -hmm. right? If you've got, if you're stuck, you know, you you could be unstuck very quickly. Yeah. So the two of those right there is uh, that's a $1,500 value that you'd have to pay to get access to that. But we're not done, are we, Mike? Wait. There's more. There's more. Mm. All right, and this is what I just uh, I just uh, typed in here to Andy. We have a product coming out uh, in about six weeks, Evan. It's called... Hey, Evan, can your monitor do this? I don't no. think it can. I am. But wait. There's That's right. Animated. But wait. We're, uh, we're coming out with a new course called Traffic Jam Academy. 
All right. It was going to be called Traffic Genesis, but uh, we like the jam thing. We're bringing that into our our bonuses uh, into our brand as well. Now, Traffic Jam, as you can, uh, Traffic Jam Academy, as you can imagine, it's everything related to buying media and traffic. It's focused about 50% on Facebook advertising, and then we're bringing other forms of media in there as, as well as target placement, retargeting, and uh, we're looking into YouTube advertising, and of course there'll be uh, stuff on pay-per-click as well. Uh, so that product is... It's how we do traffic yeah. getting, right? And so there's the way that everybody thinks that traffic works, mm -hmm. right, which is how can I get the cheapest traffic possible, and there's the way that it actually works, with people that we know get a lot of traffic and are very successful, which is how can I create the most return on investment for the traffic that I have? And that's how it works. The other ways don't work. Cheap traffic, great, probably isn't going to work. So this is an enterprise level course, and it's inspired from advertising experience, right? Real hardcore out there in the marketplace advertising experience, and it's 100% of our advertising budget um, is going to be revealed, essentially, how we do it. Yeah, and it's all, all cutting edge. There's actually software in there that helps you make really cool ads and images and, and things like that. So uh, we don't want to leak the price of what that's going to be, but I can easily say that it's a $1,000 plus value. Sure. So, so you're looking uh, somewhere about $2,500 to $3,000 for our bonus. Uh, and uh, Evan, and again, we want, we want to make, we want to make sure that everybody knows Andy and I don't do this very often. This is the uh, the third time in a year, and you know there's there's a there's two launches every week just with our friends, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and um, when I say our friends, you know, top 50 people in the industry with That's great right. products. But for us to get out there, uh, share in, in the content creation with someone. And then go out and take our best products. Yeah, and take that's right. I mean, you know, guys, we're we believe so much in Evan, and Evan has helped our business so much that we're we're participating in the content of the course mm -hmm. and the education of the course because we just we love Evan. We want next to him in the marketplace. Yeah. So it, exactly, we uh, we believe very strongly in what uh, what you teach, Evan. We think you're, you're there's a reason why you're in our mastermind, and we you know, every time you put out a little case study, it, you know, I print it out and we put it into our swipe files. Uh, guys, you need you need to get involved with uh, with Evan Pagan. Uh, he's he ran a twenty million dollar internet business when I can tell you I didn't know anybody in the industry. Wasn't sure would, what the yeah, internet was. Would, yeah, right. Was doing that, and he wasn't <laughs> doing it with you know B two B or how to make money. Yeah. He was teaching dating advice. That's and right. He, uh, Evan pioneered that game. Uh, when I say the game, right? <laughs> you know, uh, no pun intended. Uh, you know, out there with. Uh, you know, with lots of leaders in that industry, and he takes that wealth of information plus the stuff that he's been doing in the last three years. He's a marketing genius. You really need to get involved. It's not just an information product, as he told you. There's, there's live continuous training that goes on, and Andy and I are are stacking the cool so much and putting such an incredible bonus that when Evan's going to be teaching you all the things marketing. The traffic that we're going to teach you is only going to compound that effect. You need to grow your business, as Evan said, and get involved. Dave, how do, how do they get that? We put a button um, right now that they can click. So right here in the room, you're going to see a little button right above the chat where you can click to get that the, that bonus. And Evan, when, when, when do they need to take action on this? Because for us, they, to get this traffic jam bonus, they need to do it while we're on this this yeah, I, I mean, you know, again, we this is going to be a, a highly targeted group of focused people, as something Evan had said earlier, which is, you know, try to alienate people that that are not, you know, right for your product, and and so we kind of want to do that. We only want the serious people to take action. We only want serious people to be involved. And when you come up to us at an event and you've got one of these on, that means that you're serious. So um, it's a, a extremely limited offer, and we're doing that because. You know, it's a big deal to be part of our mastermind. Eben said something earlier today. He said, you know, I think about what it was going to take to make the best product ever, and it's going to take a lot of commitment, and it's going to take a lot of, of investment, and, and that's what it's like to be in our mastermind and be in, you know, um, in Genesis Labs, and that's what it's like to be a part of this universe. And so uh, it is going to be, for lack of a term, a very limited offer, uh, but you won't go wrong. And, of course, we stand behind it. With our guarantee, Evan stands behind his stuff with his guarantee. You just there's nothing to lose. Only upside. Only ways to accelerate your business. Or decelerate. Uh, as as Tony Robbins says, you're either growing or you're dying. Yep. Evan, you said that the same thing. You're, if your business is not growing, uh, I don't even believe that it's stagnant. I think I, I believe you're either 
going in one direction. You're either growing or you're dying. Put your faith in Eben's program. Get our bonuses. You have, Eben, I would assume, a 30-day money-back guarantee, right? Yeah, um, we actually have two guarantees. Can I tell a story? Yes, yeah, yeah. please. There's a, there's a fun story. Um, so for this program, we got a 30-day money-back guarantee. You know, no questions asked. Just go through the program for 30 days. Try out the materials. If you don't uh, what you're going to be investing, ask for a refund. You know, no questions, no problems. We're also doing a double guarantee. Um, so one of the things that you get is you get a ticket to come to our summit in Chicago. Um, if you go through your first 30 days and then you also attend the live summit with me, you go all the way through the three-day summit, um, if you... You know, at that point, if you don't decide that you're getting 10 times or more your return, you come up to me at the end of the summit and say, I want a refund, I'll give you all your money back, and I'll give you 500 bucks for wasting your time. Because you've got to travel out to the summit, so I'll chip in for your hotel in your career. You know, last year we did a big program, you know, up to $1,000 a ticket to attend. We had over 300 people at the seven-day-long summit, and uh, I offered the same, same guarantee. And you know what? Not everyone was happy. We did have one person who asked me for a refund. Huh. Okay, and uh, they asked on the first day. Actually, just wasn't their style. Now we hadn't even gotten into the business training yet. The first day we did a little pre-day on learning and so forth. My style just wasn't for them. And you know what? That's fine. Um, but the other, you know, 300 plus people stayed, and uh, and they really had a good time. And you know, on our website, you can see some of their testimonials and some of the uh, feedback they've given. Given, but yeah, we definitely have a. a Awesome. So yeah, so you've got two guarantees there. I love that. So basically, uh, Evan, what you're, you know, what what a guarantee is doing. The reason why you can do that and have the double guarantee is because we know that if somebody goes through the product and applies it, they're going to have success. Yes. We, because we we've it's self-evident because it's not just what we've seen it do for us. It's what we've seen it do for so many of our clients before. So that's why you have the guarantees now. If somebody doesn't go through the product, they buy it and they don't go through it, well, you know, of course you're not going to have success. So make the commitment not only to buy it, but to go through it and transform your life. Guys. So again, yeah. the button is right there. Uh, we, uh, so get access to it. I'm going to recap the bonus real quick. You get a full year of our mastermind. Uh, uh, you get, uh, and we also do workshops. Our mastermind, you get three workshops to come out here in San Diego live, spend the weekend with Andy and I. We didn't say that. You get to come out here. People pay $2,500 to come to one of those. You get to come to three. That's a $7,500 value to learn full hand uh, with, with Andy and I. You come by, you see our office. We, we'll go out to dinner with you guys. It's a lot of fun. Three of those plus the mastermind uh, instant on-demand email list community that we have. You get access to Genesis Labs and our next product, Traffic Jam, plus everything that uh, Evan said. All you've got to do plus. is yeah, the first 11 people. Yeah. The first uh, 11 people, just click, I believe it's over here, maybe over here. I don't see where we are. There's a little button there uh, to that'll open up into a new window to see the order form uh, to get access. So we want to thank you, Evan. We know you yeah, have man. a very, thank very, you very busy much. day. Who knows? You might even thank be back again with a, another one of these next. Yeah, we're trying to trying to get you the next one. And thank you guys for uh, our jam for the first time a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. um, I had my world record... Uh, number of people attend. I think we had something like 4,000 people live on wow. our uh, on our on our webinar and on our uh, on our jam, and uh, we crashed our server. Nicely done. <laughs> we, yeah, nicely done, I, guys. I haven't seen that since like uh, you know yeah. the old the last days, decade, like five years five years ago. Yeah, that's the old days. We, we, we didn't crash our server. You crashed your ordering your, server. Your order. No, no, server. your 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 guys' server went went perfectly through the whole thing. Uh, we crashed our order form. So that's right. Anyway, maybe uh, maybe in the next couple of weeks, guys, uh, you guys could do a little class for my group. and For sure. You know, get all our folks to see Webinar Jam because I'd love to tell everyone about it. Yeah, absolutely. And if you don't already have Webinar Jam and you decide to go with uh -oh, Evan. Uh-oh, well, wait a second. There's but more. But wait. But wait. There's more. We would like to Are give you, you a lifetime's use of Webinar Jam for the rest of your life. If you sign up here, with giving it Evan to them for today, life. For, for life, forever, as long as I live, <laughs> that which just is happened. really, that's, that's the disclaimer, because you guys know I can drop dead at any time. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Evan, you're the man. Happy birthday to your daughter, dude. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I heart you too, Evan. Take care. <laughs> we'll Take talk care. to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, Take care, everybody.